go with one match of apparel sets, brackets, and resistance here, weights, and conditioning. In this video, I'll be producing two paintings using inexpensive art supplies versus higher quality materials. I understand and I've been there myself. We are not always able to afford what we perceive as the highest quality materials. It is completely fine to use what is within your means to express yourself. These paintbrushes are usable. They retain water. The paint itself is runny and difficult to mix. The paint also takes longer to dry. As an artist, I was excited to start on a new canvas. My excitement quickly turned to disappointment as I realized the quality of the canvas was shoddy. It was loose, bent, and not square. I began to paint, but quickly noticed issues with the inexpensive paint I had purchased. It was slow to dry and difficult to mix, resulting in an uneven application. I repeated the process with the other materials. I compared it to the golden paint I had, which was much better at layering and had more pronounced colors. Unfortunately, the inexpensive materials also caused me problems in other ways. The brush head fell off of the shaft and a large amount of paint was needed to cover a small area of canvas. To make matters worse, the cheap paint took a long time to dry and I was allergic to it. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the black and white paint. I found it difficult to establish mint tones and dark tones were washed out. The golden paint was a much better option and required less work to establish these same tones. As I continued to work on the canvas, I noticed that the frame was weak and the tape I was using to secure it was compressing and warping it. I realized that the inexpensive paint was not worth the problems it was causing me and resolved to only use golden paint in the future. Don't be deterred from buying these products. We all start with less than ideal materials.